So last night we celebrated my mother's birthday and it's not often that we all get together as a family. I've got two brothers and a sister and we all have kids. We decided it was a good idea to go bowling because usually it's just you go out to dinner and you spend an hour or two at dinner and then everybody goes home. It was cool to have that interaction where all the kids got to get together and I think my mother really enjoyed herself, which was nice. So today I'm interviewing somebody that we're looking to hire because the challenge we're facing right now is we're about to start our season of building water features and cleaning water features in about three weeks and we need people. We're looking to hire a couple people, but I can tell you right off the bat, it's not an easy job. It could be rewarding building water features and, and doing cool stuff and getting to meet some really nice customers, but it's definitely work. What I'm looking for as a business owner, and I think most business owners are looking for this, is really just a couple things. It's not so much experience because we can train and we can teach what we do, but we need somebody with a terrific attitude and a great work ethic. So if you can come to work and your mission is to get things done and be part of a team and understand the process and, and flow with everybody else, then you're a good fit for most companies. And if you have a great attitude, that's something that cannot be taught. So if we could find those two really important things, that's a foundation I can build off of. If you come in and you've got all kinds of experience and you're a fantastic water feature builder, but you've got a terrible attitude and you don't work well with others and your presentation to customers is subpar, I can't change all that. And I don't know anybody who could. So if you are looking for a job and you're out there searching, do a self-evaluation, which is something I do to myself all the time. Do a self-evaluation of what your situation is. Do you wake up every morning and blame somebody else for your problems? Or do you say, listen, these are the things that I'm doing wrong. Here's my action plan. This is how I'm gonna change them. If you've got that kind of attitude, then you're going the right direction. You can have pretty much any job you want if you've got a certain set of skills. But if you wake up every day and you think that the world owes you something, you're gonna have a tough life ahead of you. It's 10 o'clock. I'm pulling into our parking lot now and he's already here. That's a good start. That's one more thing I should mention. Uh, besides the other two things that I already mentioned, great attitude, great work ethic, being on time and doing what you say you're gonna do, really good things to have in your arsenal. I'm going in now, Joanne and I are gonna meet with him and I'll let you know how it goes. So, I'm trying to get Joanne to help me with the video. She says she can't be bothered right now. Some of us are actually working and doing estimates and getting back to customers and not doing this all day long. I'm dealing with difficult talent. It ain't easy doing these vlogs. You don't need lip gloss. Well, since you won't get me a glam squad. She <laughs> thinks she needs lip gloss to be on the vlog. Like a little... No, get out of here. Just let off. Get him shit. <laughs> Sit so you can be seen in the camera. So we just finished our interview with uh, a prospect, which uh, we think is going to take the job, right? Yeah, I think he is. Yeah. So <laughs> it went really well. Uh, I loved his attitude. Loved his uh, his background. He had a lot of good things going on where he was um, involved with sports and some volunteer stuff. Worked in a family business. I think it'll be a good fit here. What was your feedback? I liked that he worked with puppies. She liked that he worked with puppies. So I guess that's how we make decisions around here. Love animals. <laughs> so it was good to get uh, somebody in here that, that seemed really qualified for what it is we're doing, just so we can convey our vision and see if he feels like it's a fit for him and then he's a fit for us. And that's how we're approaching our hiring process. Oh, and he's a former snowboard instructor and my kids want to learn how to snowboard. That has nothing to do with why we are, yes, are hiring. Yes, it does. Right. No, me. it doesn't. For me. That's not what we're looking for. We don't care if you're a snowboard instructor. I'm Jack. Hold on, wait for it. This is what we're Jack. doing now. This is a serious vlog and you're making a mockery of it. Keep going. So this is what our life consists of right now. This time of year is getting ready for the season. Joanne is hard at work behind the desk. Uh, we've got all our, our spring clean out letters coming in, our forms. Uh, this time of year, we start up in March doing pond cleaning, pond water feature cleaning, where we go out and we, we drain and we clean and handle fish and all that kind of stuff. So people are sending their, in their forms to sign up for that service, and she is managing all those hundreds of forms, and we're going to start routing them into some sort of sense so that we can <laughs> geographically arrange 
our customer list. And then be ready to go once the season starts, which I'm taking very seriously. And it doesn't seem like you're feeling the same way. I'm so serious. This is what I have to work with. <laughs> Okay, come on. Hold on. I've got other things to do. You know what? Too bad for you. Walking around wearing sunglasses is a important. That's just part of what I do. Uh, it's all that you do.